yes, welcome back to our channel. So today we are making a peach galette. Do you know what that is? Yeah. What is it? Snack. It's a snack, kind of, yeah. So it's a French dessert and we slice it when it comes out of the oven and put vanilla ice cream on it and it is so delicious. So delicious. <laughs> You're so convincing. All right, so we're gonna get started by making our crust. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we have our food processor here and we are going to dump in one and one third cup of flour. Okay, get that in there. All right, and then one tablespoon of sugar. Is this my size? It is your size. Let's make sure we get it all out. Okay, then we do one half teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. Perfect. Okay, and then you're just gonna wanna put that Put your lid on and pulse that up about like eight to 10 times. So push this button. You just wanna make sure that your dry ingredients get well incorporated before we add in our butter and water. Okay, well that's one way of doing it. You just push it like that. Push, push, push. Good job. Excellent. Good, are you okay? Did you hurt your thumb? Oh my goodness. Okay, all right, we're good. All right, we're good. Okay, then we take our lid off and we're gonna put in eight tablespoons of unsalted butter and you just cut it into about half inch cubes. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> Can you put them in? Daddy, Ready? Daddy. Like this. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. and we're gonna put our lid back on again and hit this button again. Mm. Just keep on hitting it. Okay, and you're gonna wanna pulse that until your butter turns into little peas. Good job. Okay, you see how the butter is getting a lot smaller, yeah. almost like pea size. Okay, that's the way we want it. Stop. All right. Now we're gonna start adding in ice cold water. We need six tablespoons of ice cold water. Are you ready? Ice cold. Yep. I have ice in our water right here. Here's one tablespoon. And you're gonna wanna pulse this after every tablespoon of like, water. Oh, look at those muscles. Okay, stop, 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 stop. You're very thorough. Here's two. Oh, you hit the button. Okay, careful, 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 careful. Three-ish, okay. Push. Okay, there's four. Oh, very good. starting to form? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. All right. We're not good. We're not good? Okay. Well, you don't want to mix it too much, okay? Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Now, if you mix it too much, if you mix your pie crust too much, it will get tough and rubbery, and that's not what we want. We want a light, buttery, flaky crust, okay? I just like that mixer. Yeah, I know. I noticed. Can you buy me that mixer? Oh, you need one too? Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. All right, so then we're just going to take our pie crust out and stick it on some um, shrink wrap. Okay. And just stick it on like that. Okay, and you don't want to work it too much. You just want to pat it into like a round disc. Hey, 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 that's not very nice. That's 
not very nice. What? Talking like that. We don't need to do this. We just form it like this, okay? And then we push this over like this. Okay. And then what we do is we stick this in the refrigerator for about an hour to overnight. And we're gonna go to the farmer's market and pick up some peaches. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back and we are ready to show you how we make this guy. I feel so bad. You were she when we went to the farmers market to get the peaches from holding the peaches, they must have pricked her skin and it made you itchy. But you're all better now, right? Yeah. Yes, totally better. And so better. and and mommy it happened to mommy too. So we're all better. We washed them up, they're all great and they're delicious peaches. We picked some good ones. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started here. Yeah. So right now I have one fourth cup of sugar and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Can you dump that cinnamon in there for mommy? Well. Right into the sugar. Right into the sugar. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so good job. Okay. And then we have one tablespoon of flour. Just get that guy in there. Good job. And what we do is we take this and we're just gonna mix that up just a little bit. Okay, you need to be gentle so we don't kick it out because this is a small bowl. Ooh, smell that cinnamon. Do very carefully. What is this for? This is to put on our peaches. It smells so good, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's ready. All right, then we have three large peaches that we sliced just about that thin. And they're all in our big bowl here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is dump this over our peaches. Ooh, you're getting crazy. You're getting crazy. Okay, then we take this and we scoop them and try to coat them with all of that Can yummy it? flavor. Yeah, go ahead. Coat it with all that yummy flavor. Ooh, be careful. Careful, careful. Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're funny. And then I have a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm just going to pour over these guys, too, to add a little extra flavor in there. Okay. All right, the mummy do. Okay. Do we have two pieces? So we get those all coated really well with that cinnamon and sugar. And the flour is going to help. I eat butter. Why are you eating butter? <laughs> that flour is going to help to thicken up the juices and that syrup that the peaches make. I eat butter. Okay, stop eating butter. Stop. Crazy, crazy. Okay, and then we just set that aside. Now, Mommy's going to go in the refrigerator, and I'm going to hide the butter for a second. And I am getting our dough that we made earlier. Okay, so you just want to have a floured surface. Now I have a piece of parchment paper down. This is a sticky dough, even when you flour it. So I like to put the parchment paper down. Okay, hang on, sweetheart. Put the parchment paper down on top of a pastry mat to help it stay. Okay, so we go like this and we make sure that we have flour all over our surface here. Okay, we stick this here. No, don't touch this. And you're gonna flour your dough. Can I do it? You're gonna help mommy once I get this rolled a little. And you're gonna roll this out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're silly. Guys, guys, guys. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. So you wanna get this out to about 12 inches. And it doesn't have to be perfectly round, but you wanna make sure that. Um, can I do that myself? It's relatively a circle. Can I do that um, Once mommy gets it out, okay? You be my flower. Sprinkle some flour on there. You be my flower girl. 
Okay, that's a little too much. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, very good. All right. So mommy's gonna do. Okay. And we get this all rolled out here. So then what I'd like to do is just try to make sure that those edges come together a bit. Wow. A galette is usually like a very rustic looking um, pastry, sort of like a flat pie, like I said before. Um, but you still want the outside of your crust to be sort of round. Okay, then we take our peaches and you want to start about two inches away from the edge of your dough. And we're just going to put our peaches, you can help with this baby, around. Is it sticky? Um, it's juicy. We're just gonna layer them around in a circle. See how mommy's doing that? Good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Guys, come over. You, you get me. You get me. They get you? They understand you? Yeah. I get it. Okay. All right. We want to stay on the outside here. Chicky, chicky. Now, we currently have our oven preheating to 425 degrees. This is going to be awesome, guys. It's going to be so delicious. These peaches are so fresh so, and so ripe. And ripe. Mm-hmm. Then we start on the center right here. We do the same thing. Ooh, very good job, honey. I'm just gonna put This is like a flower. It sorta is very good. Okay, and that I think is just enough, baby girl. Just enough. Does that look pretty? Yeah, that looks like okay. flowers to me. Looks like a flower to you. So now what we're going to do is I have I have some salted butter right here. Okay, we don't need any more of these and we don't need that. Okay, but I have some salted butter that I just cut very thin and you just want to break off some pieces and put little pads of this butter on top of the peaches. What's happening over here? Oh, you're making a mess. Silly, silly. And as this bakes, this butter is gonna melt into these what? peaches. Why? And it's gonna help bring out the flavor even more. Why? Because. Is that how God made it? That's how God made it, sure is. Guys, if you like this comment below, I don't give it that description. <laughs> are we gonna put the um are we gonna put the recipe down in the comments? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so, so then what we do is we take the outside of our dough, you lift it up, pull it in, no honey, no more flour. Pull it in and rest it on your peaches. So we I'm are gonna just gonna keep folding this around. It's okay. It's okay, Ma. You see what Mommy's doing? Scoop and fold. <laughs> oh. Scoop and fold. Very Scoop good. Scoop and fold. Scoop and fold. Okay. Then I have an egg wash here. Just one egg all Make mixed egg. up. And you're just going to paint your dough. Paint your dough? Paint your dough. You love painting. Can you paint that for me? Yeah, I can paint that. Only the dough. Make sure you get it really good. Can I do it? Mm hmm And then I have some coarse sugar. And when she is done with painting this galette, we are gonna sprinkle it with our coarse sugar and get it in the oven and bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. And it's gonna be done. And we're gonna put some vanilla ice cream on top of it 
and we will post pictures of this at the end of this video so you can see how delicious it looks. But if you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe below so you gain access to all of our future videos.